Hey friends, you're watching Day Bird Aviaries. My name is Robert and I am the Aviculture Conure Ninja. So I get asked lots and lots of questions. One of the number one questions I get asked is, Robert, what do you feed your, and then fill in the blank, whatever that blank may be. Macaw, chicken, conure, children, whatever it may be. And so this video today is going to start a series of Feed My Pet Fridays. Every Friday, I'm going to post a video about what I feed one of my animals. And so today we're going to start with our lorries. What do I feed my So this is the basis of what we feed our lorries and lorikeets. Now we, we, have, we have four lorries, three different kinds. We have a male and female pair of rainbow lorries that look just like these birds. We have a male red Moluccan lorry and we have a female um, perfect lorikeet. And we get this from a friend of ours uh, that manufactures this here in the United States, in Georgia, as a matter of fact. You can get it at lorinectar.com. This is a breeder diet. They have a, a diet just for pet lorries. There are other products available that are just as good. Uh, there's one available on Amazon, and I will put the link to that down below. This is just what I choose to use, uh, and it works absolutely great. Now, you can get a dry powder food, even from this company, that you can feed to your lorries that does not need to be mixed with water. I will caution you, however, lorries are also called brush-tongued parrots. Their tongue inside their little mouth is not like a, a regular parrot's tongue. It has papillae, little feelers, lots of little little tips to it and it's like a brush and they use that to lap up the nectar and pollen out of flowers and so it is a natural diet to give them a wet nectar to drink now the instructions are on the back and it says that, and it comes with a little blue measuring scoop it is four scoops of powder per liquid measure cup of water and this is a two cup measuring cup, so I put eight scoops of powder into here with cold water, mix it thoroughly, and then I feed it to them in paper bowls. So here is the powder in with the water, and you literally just mix it up. I use a fork. Some people who have many, many lorikeets actually use a blender and mix up gallons of this stuff every day. So this is what we do, just as simple and as easy as that. And then I pour it out into paper bowls. Some people use stainless steel bowls, and that's perfectly fine. Some people will use ceramic, glazed ceramic bowls, and that is perfectly fine. I would prefer that no one use plastic bowls because they are very difficult to disinfect and clean, which brings me to the reason why I use paper bowls. They are disposable. We use this one single use and then we put them into the compost pile and we compost them down for use in the garden. And so I just pour out an allotted mix and if it is not thoroughly mixed if there's still a, a clump in there I don't freak out about that the lorries will still eat it just fine this is it's about it's less than half a cup about a quarter of a cup maybe a third of a cup this is about the portion that I give to the little perfect floor key every day that's a lot of food but these guys have extremely fast metabolisms and they, they require a lot of food. And so the rest of this I'm going to give to the other cages of lorries. Now one cage has the pair of rainbow lorries. And the other cage has just the big red lorry. And I give them about the same amount of food per, each, per cage of those two. Because the rainbow lorries, even though there are two, they are smaller than the red lorry. And so they get about three times as much as what the one little tiny perfect 
Lord Keith Gibbs. Now, in addition to the nectar, I do give my my lorries fruit. I give them the largest variety of fruit that I can possibly manage, which is sometimes difficult here in rural Alabama. If I can find tropical fruits, that is what I prefer. I have a very ripe mango here. I've already cut the pit out of it. That's what this is. I'm going to give this to some macaws. This is very mushy. This has been in our refrigerator. That's why it has condensation all over it. This is how they prefer it. They like soft, mushy foods. If you give them a hard pear or a hard apple, they will eat it. If you give them the choice between a hard apple and a soft banana, they're going to choose the soft banana every time. The softer the fruit, the better. Cantaloupe, soft, juicy, delicious cantaloupe is something that they really, really love. Now with this, I cut this up into small pieces. All the foods that I give to them, I try to give it to them in pieces about half an inch square because they're messy. They will take a big piece of fruit out of the bowl, they'll take one bite of it, and then they'll drop the rest to the floor of their cage, or in my case, it goes through the floor of the cage to the ground. Now the chickens at my house will come along and clean up anything that the parrots drop, but that's wasteful and it can be expensive. And so I cut it up into small pieces so that they can take bites out of it and then if they drop it not a lot's wasted i also have a kiwi i'm going to cut up for them they love kiwis and i have some grapes a word of caution about grapes green grapes are better than the dark grapes do not feed too many grapes at all though they do contain iron and the darker grapes contain tannic acids and the tannic acids and the iron contained in the grape can store in the liver of the bird and cause hemochromatosis I believe that's how you say that word but it's excess iron in the the liver of the bird and it can cause trouble and so don't give too many grapes at all they only get grapes maybe once every two weeks. This is just what what was on sale at our local grocery store and so it's what they're getting today. I will give grapes to the macaws and the Amazons and the Conyers as often as I want to. Uh, they really like that. They are high in sugar though so those other birds don't need a whole lot. But you have to be cautious giving them to the lorikeets. Now doesn't that look delicious? This is mango and kiwi and a few pieces of green grapes floating in the lorry nectar. Isn't that lovely? Now this stays in their cage not for a long time. Maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And you may question yourself, well what do the birds eat the rest of the day? Well, we replace it in the afternoon. We give them a little bit in the morning and then we give them more in the afternoon. But in their cage always contains a pellet. Now this is a low iron soft bill pellet. This is manufactured by Missouri. I don't have a pretty package to show you because I order it in a giant 50 pound bag uh, it's a 20 pound bag, excuse me. But this I feed to the Tarakos. Not that one, that's not supposed to be in there. Huh. This is, this is the low iron soft bill pellet manufactured by Missouri. Now you can get it in a small, pretty pet sized bag with good graphic labeling on it. However, I don't have that to show to you because I ordered in a large 20 pound bag. I give this to the lorries. I keep a bowl of this dry pellet in their cage at all times. This is not an ideal diet for them to be their only diet, but it is a soft pellet and it doesn't mold easily. I leave this in the cage at all times so that if something were to happen, 
the birds have food that they can eat. I don't know why I'm breaking this apart. I guess to demonstrate that it is soft. But there it is. The, we give this to the Toronto and to all of our lorikeets. And they all absolutely love this stuff. All of the birds would eat this if, if I were to give it to them. A lot of times the macaws in the house will sneak over and they will get the pellets from the Toronto when we have his cage open flying around. Isn't that awesome?